Hi, my name's Emma, and I'm a huge book nerd. And this is my friend Nick, and he's a great friend. <laughs> and you are a... I like to sing a lot. <laughs> he's a musical theater major. There you go. Yeah. I'm a library. Is it I'm a library? No, you're my library. You're my library. Yeah. You're my library. You're my library, always open for business, but you never show it. You're just sitting with it, but I know the score. Today we're going to be playing a game called... Guess That Title! Woo! Yes. So basically how this is going to work is Nick is going to pull 10 books off of my bookshelf and I'm going to be blindfolded so I won't know what they are. And then he's going to read the first sentence and I'm going to have to try to guess what book it is. And if I read the first sentence, I get how many points? You get 10 points. And if I have to have him read the first two sentences and I guess it correctly, I get how many points? Five points. And if he has to read the whole first paragraph, and then I guess it correctly, I get... Two points! Yay! And so in order to win, I have to get a total of 50 points, otherwise Nick wins. Woo! By default. By default, <laughs> yes. Love that. And then I have, I can get two saves, the first one of which is called... <laughs> Caress a book. So if I don't know what it is, I get to feel the book. And the second save is... Tell me the cue! And he has to tell me what color the book is. So, <laughs> this is going to be very exciting and I can't wait. Yeah. So let me get my blindfold on and you can yeah. pick your first book. Okay. Can you see anything? No. Wait. No. Cannot. Okay. I show them first. Okay. 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 I'm nervous. Skipping the author's note. Okay. Late in the winter of my 17th year, my mother decided I was depressed, presumably because I rarely left the house, spent quite a lot of time in bed, read the same book over and over, ate infrequently, and devoted quite a bit of my abundant free time to thinking about death. Oh my god! I have no idea! That one's not fair is. because it's a whole sentence and a paragraph. So that's, that's a sentence. That's one sentence. Yeah. Is oh your heart beating? Mine is. But kind of. <laughs> Wait, okay, so so it's a, like a really depressed person and a teenager. So I feel like since it's a teenager, it's probably a YA. Wait, is it My Sister's Keeper? No. Dang it. You want another? No, yeah, yeah you gotta yeah, get another. another sentence. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you read a cancer booklet or website or whatever, they always list depression among the side effects of cancer. Oh, is this The Fault in Our Stars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You got five points for that one. Okay, for the second? Yes. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. I'm like trying to figure out what these books are from where, based on where you're getting them from the bookshelf, but I can't like really tell from here. Well, now I want to read this one. You want to read this one? I've read this one before. Okay. But only halfway through. And I'll tell you why afterwards. Okay. From the crumpled bed, the wife said, I think today's the day. <gasps> I'll give you the rest. From the crumpled bed, the wife said, I think today's the day. Look how low I've gone. So she's pregnant. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> I need another sentence. Today? That would be like you, perverse and inconvenient, said her husband, teasing her, standing at the doorway and looking outward over the lake, the fields, the forest forested slopes beyond. This is making me think of um, In the Lake of the Woods, but that's not what this book is because she's not pregnant at the beginning. It's not a Tim O'Brien. It's not a Stephen King. I, I need I need the whole paragraph. The whole thing. I'll just, I'll just keep reading until I think it's good because okay. it's like close. Okay. Um, should I start at the beginning? Yeah. From the crumpled bed, the wife said, I think today's the day. Look how, f how low I've gone. Today, that would be like you, perverse and inconvenient, said her husband, teasing her, standing at the doorway and looking outward, over the lake, the fields, the forest slopes beyond. He could just make out the chimneys of rush margins, breakfast fires smoking. The worst possible moment for my ministry, naturally, the wife yawned. There's not a lot of choice involved, from what I hear. Your body gets this big and it takes over. If you can't accommodate it, sweetheart, you just get out of its way. Oh my god! Uh, tell me the hue! Green. Green? Green and black. Green and black? I have no idea. 
no idea what this book is. Um. You want me to tell you? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I have not read that in so long. I only read half of this because my stepmom, well, I told her I was reading it, and I was like, oh, I read this, I got this book, it's like Wicked, it's about blah, 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 and I was like, this way through, whatever, mm -hmm. um, and then my stepmom was like, oh, I've heard about it, and she's like, so she got it, read it all, she's like, you're not allowed to read this because there's a lot of sex in here, and I was in middle school, and I was like, oh. So me being a little goody two shoes I was, I never finished it, so. There you go. Whatever. Well, I actually don't like this book very much. That's fair. It's like, it's really weird. It's really, really weird. It's super different from the musical. Like, not the same at all. Hmm. Especially when you get into like the second half. Like, she meets like an elephant goddess. And like, hmm. it's very strange. I did like the clock at the beginning. Like, the whole clock Yeah, thing. the clock thing is really cool. If you've read Wicked, let us know your thoughts down in the comments. Or seen the musical. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. Yep. Zero points on that one. <laughs> That's really sad. That's fine. It was... Okay. Okay. Aw. The thing in the beginning is very cute. Oh, okay. I'm pretty much... The Martian. Ah! Yay! She got it! <laughs> <laughs> I love this book. Good job. Well, I picked well. Woohoo! You are currently at 15 points. 15 is pretty good. Alright. There's more books to come. I don't, can't do that math. <laughs> Seven. Wow. Seven. <laughs> Ten minus three. You're struggling. Or maybe this one. Oh god. I don't know. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. <laughs> don't be fresh, Lionel. I know your mama since before the war. There you are. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> Can you just read that one more time? <laughs> Give it a different line. Don't be fresh, Lionel. I know your mama since before the war. There you are. Lionel. Technically, that's three sentences. Right. But, okay, Lionel. Lionel. So I feel like this has to be like not set present day. I, I imagine they're talking about World War II, maybe? I don't know. I need another sentence. Mr. Charles was admiring the bread pudding and I told him that our Esther made it. It seemed he has a sweet tooth. The bread pudding? <laughs> Mr. Who? Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles. This is a play. I'll give you that. Oh, okay. Whew, that's super helpful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a play. Can you read the first two lines again, then? Yes. Don't be fresh, Lionel. I know your mama since before the war. There you are. Mr. Charles, w Mr. Charles was admiring the bread pudding, and I told him that our Esther made it. It seems he has a sweet tooth. <sighs> I think of lots of plays that it's not. Okay, give it. Give it to me. Which one says it not? It's not the David Lindsay Bear one. Correct. It's not wit. Yeah. It's not mm. a taste of honey. You're like not answering to that one. Oh, I was nodding. Oh, yes. Okay. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's not a taste of honey. Um, it's not an Annie Baker. Mm-hmm. It's not next to normal. <laughs> yes. What else do I have up there? It's not a number. Mm-hmm. Is it one that we've read for class? No. Nope. Is it a... Is it one of the hardcover ones? No. Nope. It's not a Tall Girls. No. Nope. It's not Seminar. No. Nope. What other plays do I have? I don't know. I'm going to tell you the next sentence. Yep. Esther says, Mr. Charles is over, overly generous. Come, the pudding ain't nothing special. I have no idea. Intimate Apparel by Lynn. Oh! Ugh, I forgot I had that. It is one that I've read for class. Hmm. Zero for that one! Whoops. At least I got the mark on the first try. You did. You're picking hard ones. Uh, well, do you want me to do an easy one? I mean, not like super easy, but stuff from the bottom shelf I know better. Just hit Well. It. I'm scared. 
scared you're being very quiet. <laughs> I gotta think. I feel like you're just gonna like push me off the bed and I'm not gonna know it's coming. It's not gonna be okay. What are you doing? It was just a lot of sound and I didn't want you to know where it was coming from. Okay. I think I made more sound. I'm confused. Don't worry about it. I've read many more books than you. Is it a hardcover? Yes. But it's YA. It doesn't matter how many you've read. This is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. All right, so we got a big book nerd, obviously. Um, and I'm a huge book nerd. Is this everything, everything? It is. Yay! I've read this one. I love that book, it's good. It was good. It's just a whirlwind. Not like great literature, but a damn good time. But I read it like in like a day. Yeah. So that was good. Which is why it's really fun. How many points do I have? <laughs> 20. Woo! You I just got need 30 five more. 30 more points to not lose. You can do it. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll win. Maybe <laughs> you'll win. Turn off your ears. Okay. My ears are closed. La 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 la. Okay. The villagers of Little Hangleton still called it the Riddle House, even though it had been many years since the Riddle family had lived there. Oh, this is for sure Harry Potter. But which one? Did you pull it out of the box set? Yes! Uh, okay, so they're talking about the Riddle House. It's not the first one, it's not the second one. It's not the third one. Is it the sixth? No. Caress a book! So they can see you caressing oh. the book. Thank you. This helps because I know that it's not one of the super long ones. I suppose. <laughs> Is it the third one? No. Nope. Fourth. Yeah. What's it called? No, I've got this. I've got this. So first is Sorcerer's Stone. Second is Chamber of Secrets. Third is Prisoner of Azkaban. Fourth is um, the Goblet Fire. Yes. I always remember it because there's four people in the Triwizard Tournament. It's fourth book. That's fair. How many was that? Did you get two? Uh, you only read the first sentence, and I used my save to get it. So I think that I get the points for the first sentence. Because I used my save. Hmm. Yes. Ha! Huh. Next. Can't tell if it's the first type, first chapter or not. <laughs> Abandon all hope, ye who enter here, is scrawled in blood red lettering on the side of the chemical bank near the corner of 11th and 1st, and is in print large enough to be seen from the back seat of a cab as it lurches forward in the traffic leaving Wall Street. And just as Timothy Price notices the words, a bus pulls up, the advertisement for Les Miserables on its side, blocking his view. But Price, who is American Psycho. with Pierce and Pierce, and 26 doesn't seem to care because he tells the driver he will give him $5 to turn up the radio. Be my baby on WYNN, and the driver, black, not American, does so. American Psycho. Yes, I had to get through the sentence first. <laughs> yeah, the writing in this is iconic. Put your vine vote on. Putting it on. It's on. Bye, Fallon. Bye, Fallon. Some of these I'm going to pick, but are just too easy. <laughs> How do you know? Because I'm going to pick Life of Pi, but... The first sentence is hard. Hmm. You know? Mm. Ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot protect myself. <laughs> Just duck. <laughs> oh, great. There you go. Oh, this one's hard. Here's a bonus. Okay. I was born a little book maid. A book mad, sorry. <laughs> I was born a little book mad. All right, so we have another book lover. I need another sentence. I could be found stroking the spines of my books while I sat locked alone inside my bed, my tower bedroom. Tower bedroom? Who lives in a tower? The princess. A princess? There's a princess. And this tower. is not Shrek. I don't own Shrek. Oh my god, that's just me. Um, Pretty maiden. There are words that are scratched out. I own a book like that? Yep. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is Illuminae, but I don't own Illuminae. It's not um, Night Film. 
I'm trying to think of books I have with weird formatting. This one? I need another, I need the paragraph. The princess, I was born a little book mad. I could be found stroking the spines of my books while I sat locked alone inside my tower bedroom. All the while, I hoped my books would spill their exquisite words over the lush green carpet so I could collect them one by one and savor them like berries inside my mouth. Oh, this is uh, The Princess Saves Herself in this Yay. one. Yeah, that's hard. If you had read the dedication, I would have known what it was. For the boy who lived. Thomas! Tummy! Come here. Stop playing with boxes. Come here, Thomas. Be in a video. He's my cat. Yes. If you've seen him in a video. Yeah, this is the owner of the cat. We love him. He is very feisty today. Oh, he's so cute. You want to help me pick a book? Yes, you Yeah, do. he does. Put he your blindfold on. Okay. My blindfold's on. Okay, pick one, Tennis. You want from Vanessa? Okay, well, we're going to pick this one. Oh, you want that one. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Wait, so the last one was a bonus, right? Sure. That's what you said. We're going to add five points to whatever. Yay. Where does the chapter begin? <laughs> a college I'm... professor had his sociology class go into the Baltimore slums to get case histories of 200 young boys. Chicken soup for the soul. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. All children, except one, grow up. Oh, this is uh, Peter Pan. Yeah. I was like, why do I know this so well? <laughs> One more. All right, let's do this. My suffering left me sad and gloomy. <laughs> Great. Like every book I read ever. Yep. Um, could be The Revenant. Not sure. I need another sentence. Academic study and the steady, mindful practice of religion slowly brought me back to life. <laughs> that was alarming. <laughs> Did he just climb down of his own volition? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Tom. He's a smarty cat. So this is someone who is miserable, studious, and religious. Not the Revenant. No, I need the whole per first paragraph. My suffering left me sad and gloomy. Academic study and the steady mindful practice of religion slowly brought me back to life. I have kept up with what some people would consider my strange religious practice. After one year of high school, I attended the University of Toronto and took a double major bachelor's degree. My majors were religious studies and duology. My fourth year thesis for religious studies concerned certain aspects of the, of the cosmogony theory of Isaac Luria, Luria the, the great 16th century Kabbalist from Cepheid. My zoology thesis was a functional analysis of the thyroid gland of the three-toed sloth. I chose the sloth because its demeanor, calm, quiet, and introspective, did something to soothe my sat shattered self. This is fiction, right? Uh-huh. I have no idea. You want me to tell you? Yeah. Life of Pi! <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny you thought I would get that. Okay, I read it, so I just assumed. And that's it. How many points? Hi, Dan. Okay. Ready? 65 points! Woo! I won! I won! I beat you! I beat you! I... <laughs> At a game you weren't playing. <laughs> Woo! Woo! How do you feel? I feel accomplished. Huh? I'm sad I didn't know Life of Pi. Pie. And I'm sad I didn't know Wicked. Disappointed in myself. I'm proud of myself for knowing American Psycho. Yeah, you got that real quick. So did I. No. Oh, I said you got it. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Give me one. Just one. Okay. Okay. I'll try to pick one that I Yeah, I think you think I've, I think I've... No. It's hard, isn't it? It is hard. <gasps> it's dumb. It's okay, I thought something floor. was falling. <laughs> it's freaky, isn't it? It is. All right. I know I'm not an ordinary 10-year-old kid. Well, it's got to be one of the Harry Potters. Mm. No? No. <gasps> it's, uh, it's Wonder. Yeah! Proud of you. 
This is the only one on my shelf that I was sure you had read. Yeah, because I picked two of the other ones I've read. Yep. Well, thank you for joining me for my yeah, video. Yeah, it was fun. I hope that you all enjoyed watching this, and if you want to see more of Nick, speak quickly, because he's leaving for the summer in like... Three weeks? Two weeks? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, let me know if you want to see more of Nick, and I'll have him do more videos with me. If not before you leave, then when you get back. Uh, if you're near Kent, Ohio, come to Porthouse Theater. I'll be in two shows. Oklahoma, and anything goes. Woo! Yeah, go see him. He's great. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Mwah!